man, probably a fun fact on me is that. Man, probably a fun fact on me is that. I like to read. Like I, I, I like to read. That's 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 a lost art nowadays. <laughs> oh, my great uncle is uh, Jesse Owens. He won four gold medals in 1936. Okay. I always want to leave people with this, man. To all the viewers and everybody out there, man, make sure you guys finish your story. Make sure you guys finish your journey because somebody's gonna need it. Yeah. All you gotta do is push the bad button. That's all you gotta do. Is push the bad button. <laughs> Try not to think about the future too much. So you can maximize the now. Who, who's your favorite rap artist? Man, to be honest, it's crazy. Tupac always been my number one, right? Like he got, got me so, he got he got me through so much stuff, but Lil Wayne has been in the modern day. I said, what does it really take? What does it really take to be great, Drew? And he looked at me and he was like, You really wanna know? And he was like, to be honest. Everything you did to get here, you need to be consistent times 10. What's up? What's up? What's up, Taco Tuesday? Back up on this is bad boy, the boy Coach Lee. Welcome to the Sports Child Show. You know how we do it around here. We are three days away from the weekend. Back at it like we're mad at it. But we first, before we can get it started, we got to come out with the captain of the ship. All the way from Ag Town, right down the street from Mecca, actually. After the STWF World Class Studios, Uncle Leroy Jr. What's up, man? Wow. Break down the dough, man. It's your boy, Uncle Leroy. Don't say the Leroy without the junior. Yes, sir. We live from STWF Studios here in Arlington, Texas. I don't know about all the mecca part, but I mean, they got McDonald's right up the street, bro. So it's all good. But uh, man, before we get this show started, we got to reach up there to the home of the Boston Big B. I'm trying to work on my Boston voice. You see that? Home of the Boston Big B, my guy, man, too. Let's get him on the two with no hoodie, man. What's down? No hoodie tonight, man. You know what I'm saying? What's that? You know what I'm saying? What's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's getting to it. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, going good. So, uh, we got somebody else hanging out, right? We, wait, you know what's crazy? We went from like a coup, a two seat coup. We got the three, you know what I'm saying? Now we ride four people, man. Like, with the lag the now, ball, man. Right? When the lag, oh, hey, man. Oh, man. Hey, we got our brother, so we won't get pulled over by the police because <laughs> four dogs get brother. Whoop, you best believe the popo's coming. So, man, let's get our light skin brother, Will. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man, he's repping the Celtics. Yeah. You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's hoodie season. We still we might, we might still get pulled over. It's hoodie season. <laughs> yep, you outside. Definitely up in the hoodie, man. You know what I'm no. saying? I don't, I don't like the hat though, but you, oh, know, you gotta love it for the occasion. You know, I guess it's accepted. Day you one. Know. It's day Y'all, one. We out here. Man, all what's right, up? It's Taco right. Tuesday. Got the house sauce up there too. Yeah, I need that. I need to talk about that. Out today. It was not Taco Tuesday today. We are changing the model. It is enchilada. It's a lot of northeast. What it tastes like? <laughs> you know, we, we make it. We make it from scratch, like your boy, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Ooh, you know, shout to shout to the kitchen, man. Blessing me. Shout to the kids that all love the food today. You know what I'm saying? They get you made enchiladas. I had to put a, I had to put a vegetable on the side. So you know what I put on the side? What? Let me know. And it was popping some squash. Kids love oh, it. Kids hey, love I, I, I watched the squash, man. Yeah, man. The kids are loving the squash, man. Yeah. They was like, oh, got me some more. Like, yeah, I, 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 I get okay, down with the squash. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> so, Big Can Cook uh, Challenge. So, all right. So, shout out to Slaughter Fit, uh, Dr. Caroline. She made some um, apple, you know, it was an apple fritter that was made apple? out of, yeah, like, I made it out of squash. So, she really? had a little, you know, little feeling from it that, you know, had the little jelly, but the, um, Instead of the apples, it was squash. So yeah, y'all so definitely gotta check that episode out. It was last um this past Friday. So yeah, yeah, you know, if you want any type of nutrition, um, nutrition to create uh human growth hair hormone naturally, check her out every Friday. She'd be up here at the studio, man. So uh slaughter fit 
every Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. But yeah, so mm -hmm. crazy says squash. Okay, that's, that's crazy. interesting. I'm mm -hmm. intrigued. I ain't fat for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never lied, coach. You ain't never lied. <laughs> I like that. I dabbled. I guess uh, that in, uh, in the culinary. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, so, let's see. Sports Chatter Show every Tuesday night. We hang out, look at the topics that we have in our group. This time of year, it's always popping, man. Green Iron's going strong. You got the pretenders and the contenders already kind of establishing themselves. You got basketball season kicking off tonight. Man, hockey is going on. So, Anything can go off in there. And, you know, got, you know, got people in there who like to dabble in the football and whatnot. But still, always something to talk about in there, man. So it's the best, um, it's the best time of year. It's sports Christmas. It yes. is. It is. Sports Christmas. Keep your girls, if you got one in the room, you know what I'm saying? Tell them, man, you got the fish wings to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> facts. Facts. Like, yeah, you got all sport. Like, yeah, we got football, basketball. Baseball, hockey, yeah, out the hockey, man. Hockey. You know what I'm saying? You want to come back? You know what I'm saying? We had a hell of a weekend of boxing. Shout, shout out to boxing, man. No, no lie. And I, I, I'm, I'm a heavy boxing guy. They say UFC boxing. I'm a boxing guy. You know, people can take the UFC and keep it. But we had a tremendous weekend on the boxing scene, man. You know, yeah, we did. definitely. Okay. Wait, who? Know. What fight? What that fight? Plant, that two plant put homie to sleep. <laughs> We're not talking about the Wilder two fight. Lefts, I know you're two lefts, night night. That was quick. Wilder fight before that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, I was about to say because yeah, I'm not. You know, yeah, World Wilder doesn't Shout out to Pat Dollar. If he if he's talking about the World Cup that starts next month, it does. Be on that too, yes. man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> this guy's definitely tuning in too. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> Got to keep my FIFA knowledge up. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes, sir. So, you know, uh, tonight, you know, I, I, you know, I don't bet too often. Uh oh, I don't bet too often. man. So uh, but I did place a, 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 a friendly rager with one of my peeps from college. Unfortunately, you know, they um they are Eagles fans. So yeah. I owe them something. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got a play in. <laughs> 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 Just now, <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta well, I guess that wager served its purpose, but why the bros got to uh, you know, uh, got yeah, we had to sit, we had to sit through that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, man. You know what? We got his name in the chat, man. Hopefully, you tuned in because we want to know who you made that bet with. Because the bros, you know, what I'm saying, like, no, man, <laughs> we, we why, yeah, we had to pay that on our tab. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Cowboys had to go through that. I'm sick. <laughs> well, out to, uh, Patrick, he said that wasn't approved by the majority. Thank you. I, 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 <laughs> I agree, man. Bag, I bag agree. And bag. <laughs> wait, so funny. wait, hold on. Not not this whole show, you know, the intro to change. So, what did you bet? Like, you know what I'm saying? What did you wager? Because I see he bet that he had to, you had to play the Eagles during the show. Yes. His was he was supposed to, um, Put on a uh, a Dez Bryan jersey and go live and pretty much do his thing to we them boys. Oh, 
He wrote a check on the STWF. Coach, you better be able to write that off, man. But nice, man. It's always good for um, interaction, man. That's good. Definitely. That was that was really good. So what we got here, um, Facebook user. Well, they were seeing the that at the top of their Wait, they were seeing that at the top of their lungs like oh, Bruce singing, Springsteen. Yeah. They were. Yeah. They, they, were singing were. It. they were singing it. Yeah. So proud. That makes like, sense. I was about to start marching, man. I was like, shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that well, got to be the worst sports song. That got to be the worst team song there is out there. Yeah, you know what? I it's not good. He didn't say I had to like it. It's not good. He didn't say I had to like it, but I just played it for him. Anyhow, it kind of sets the tone. Definitely hold up. Got to say this claim. So definitely, got to put the, uh, put the claimer out there. Everyone, you know, all our shows are interactive. So y'all see the chats already lighting up. So if y'all got something to say, just type it up, hit enter. But for the rest of the night, no more Eagles. No, I, I can't do any more Eagles. But if y'all got anything else but the type well, of size of Eagles, we good. So my well, fault. Carry I'm gonna, it up. I'm going di- to disappoint you. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't this Dallas Cowboy team? I've been watching the last two weeks. Cause that team I'm watching tonight ain't got no heart. They chasing us, they holding us back. It's the league, the league against us. Mike McCarthy, the team is unprepared. I don't know what kind of pregame meal they ate, but it ain't working. Bring back that, cause we can't attack. Cooper Rudd, Cooper Buzz. Cooper gonna do two picks, trash. Throwing the ball with his eye cold. They ain't winning football, Cowboy. I done got excited. Cowboy don't do something. I done put some meat on the grill. I invited family member. Guess what he is now? I done put him out. You get out. Mike McCarthy, you gotta go. Cooper Bus gotta go. CE Spam gotta go. Now, Jerry, you told me there was a special team. Well, you showing sure that right, special, because we ain't doing nothing. Down 20 to zero. Cut the TV off. <laughs> My man Took was busy while he was cooking, huh? <laughs> Man, I'm busy, I'm like, I'm not saying not myself, man, dog. That's how, that's how I looked like on Sunday, man. That first, half, that first half. Of the ocean. Hey, I'm enjoying it, it, man. I'm enjoying it. Like I really enjoyed that. Like the uh, hey, Eagles man, gonna make me puke, but you know he, yeah, you know, I mean, he actually said, you know, some truthful things. He did, he did, <clears throat> and that's a as you see the theme for the first topic for tonight. Fly Eagles, fly. Oh. Uh, and this him. one, shout out to he. You know, I will say this part. He's the coolest. If you know what, I ain't got no no hate towards my guy, uh, George. Man, he's in the group. He's pretty active. Shout out to the six and no Eagles, man. So his post is the first one of the night, and it's uh your six and old Philadelphia Eagles. We still haven't played anybody though. Fly Eagles, fly. <laughs> so this is the guy that called the police on all of us, George <laughs> Diaz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hold on, man. Like, you stole his bike, bro. He called the police on all of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I got you, play. I got you. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So right off the bat, you know, we got kind of exposed a little bit. We got some work, but hey, man, we fought back. It's, it's a tale of two halves. Just you know, we didn't lose. We just ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did run out of time. I like that right there, man. But I don't like this post right here. I don't like this post right here. Oh, we ain't claimed nobody. Oh, you trying to throw saw in the wound? Y'all did play somebody the other night. Man, like you said, there wasn't enough time. Shout out to Cooper Rush, man. Cooper Hush. <laughs> you got to do, man. Real talk, Eagles, y'all flying all this sh- that y'all flying in, man, because Christmas Eve, lump of coal. Cold and frozen batteries at your ass. Let me let me let me throw my rocket. Let me throw this monkey wrench up in there. I mean, because you know, y'all talking about the Eagles fans, how quickly they are to turn on players. Y'all did the same thing. I mean, it was just the other day I drove to the studio and it was you know it was rush hour. Rush hour. It was was. Cooper Crunch. It was Cooper Clutch. No, no, no. 
Oh, just throwing the bus on the guy. I mean, hold on. 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 Jerry won't let me be in the discussion about this. So, you know, Jerry tells me to leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And I leave it alone. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Hope Dak can grip a football next week because y'all need to help. Oh, man. Against the Lions? <laughs> you can't grip a football against the Lions? You don't deserve to be in the NFL. And I'm saying now on tape right now. So, if Dak, you play bad, we won this tape. Dak, if your hand's not grip good enough to play the Lions, you don't deserve to be in the NFL. Real talk. Hey, man. Lions yeah. can go. Not defensively, though. They're the highest score. Nah, I ain't trying to hear all that. Ain't about time to tell me that. And Zappy gave him a knockout. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what it is. That's a real backup yeah, right there. That's the, hey, that's the, that's the hey, new rush. But his time's going to end just like um like Cooper's did. Probably not on a bad note like that, but, you know. Hey, was, he looked bad the other night, but in hindsight, he did what he's supposed to do. Cause we he was asking him to go three hundred. I mean five hundred. He won five. He won five games, man. That's that's way more than you you should, you should be asked for as a backup. So, especially a journeyman. Yeah, yeah he, he performed above and beyond. Uh, Anthony says Cowboys turn on Dak for Russ, then turn on Russ for Dak. Hey, man, that's what we do, man. Whoever has the hot hand, that's what we rolling with. <laughs> Who got their flip flops on? Who got their flip flops on? <laughs> I got flip flops on. That's not the way I portray or, or tell my story. Real talk. Hey, he's the he's the quarterback. He's the quarterback there, and this my quarterback. Coop, Coop, Coop is not. You know, Coop has no voice in this team. You know what I'm saying? Coop's gonna go right back to the bench with the with the play pad and hope that that makes some mistakes. Because. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'll be hoping as a teammate, man. Especially if I just got in the game and I was on a high winning streak, man. You'd be like, man. Now look, now look, because we got you two, this always happens. Every subject whittles down to a Cowboys conversation. Let's really talk about the Eagles, though. Yeah, let's talk to the Eagles. Definitely, the Eagles, definitely. on the other hand, the Eagles, they, they, they look they, they, they look good. At it. They didn't look great in that second half, but they, they turned the ball over, albeit against – a backup, and and that the second quarter, man, they they're the rulers of the second quarter. This like season, the worst they were, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Like they they get up on you, and then they just coast to the finish. Yeah, um, they they've right. been dominating second quarters. I didn't see the exact numbers, but they're scoring most of their points in the second quarter. Second quarter warriors, and then holding on to the to the victory after that. Um, shout out to them, man. I mean, I'm not I'm no Eagles fan myself. As a Patriots fan, they took us out. So, um, but it's it's uh it's impressive to watch. I, I want to know how long. When when do you think it ends? When do you fellas think the uh, the streak ends? Um, I think it. Um, I, I, aside I, aside from your homer pick, where you think you're gonna finish them off? No, no, no. I believe that they can they they can go they can go another month they can go another month with this. Think so? Month yeah, month. I gotta check your schedule. Oh. Who? Uh, they got a buy this week. Then they right, got the so. Steelers, the Texans, and the Commanders. Oh my! Yeah. Then the Colts. Then the oh. Packers. Oh. <laughs> then Can the they... Titans, Giants, and Bears. They got an easy schedule. Jeez, Titans, Giants, Bears. Oh my! <laughs> um. I can see. I can see them potentially. Um, when they play the Giants, they play the Giants on the eleventh. Of uh, December, December. So that's the first matchup between the two. Yes. Oh, they wow. yeah. And they wow. close the season against the Giants. All right. So I can put. I mean, if the Giants are still team, who they, to, who they are, yeah. On, the Giants could be a game that you can have on your radar switch. But um, I mean, unless um, any Vegas people are, uh, are picking picks, they they shouldn't lose for an, another month. At least, yeah. It's not looking good for the league. Which means they're gonna run away with that division. Yeah, probably so. Cause even with Dak back, I expect you guys to probably win this week. Um but I don't you know if you guys go to Lambo for you. Yeah, yeah, that's what kind of say. Like I don't know if you're gonna round it out. They have to they have they have to go snoozing because they don't want to lose one of these games in the division, which they shouldn't lose to a team like the commanders, like I said, Giants, Cowboys oh. again. You know, but you know that that by the time they play the Giants, it's already December. 
So it's kind of like mm-hmm. you wrapped it up. You know what I'm saying? This division could have two playoff teams. I don't think they'll have three. So it's kind of right now to that to kind of throw the Giants in the sand. Yeah, you know? so it's, yeah, it's got to. But we can't disrespect the Giants either right now. But the right. Giants are top of the top right now. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a two team race for the for the for that second spot, man. Because uh, the Philly looks like they're gonna run away and hide with it. So. Shout out to you, Jake. Appreciate you hanging out with us on YouTube. And he got a kick out of Wheels, the Lions and Tigers and Bears. Oh my! <laughs> uh, Anthony says, "I know you're not on the Giants bandwagon." No, nah, we ain't. On nah, the I, I would. I wouldn't say bandwagon. I would just say that at this point, we have to respect that they playing good football, man. And, they, and hey. honestly, what's crazy? Every team that says, um. Oh, my receiver's this, my receiver's that. The pack is my receiver's this, my receiver's that. Who is Daniel Jones throwing to? That part. I can't, Wall- even, I can't even name a guy like right Hold now. On, it was Dan Wall, the, the Wandre Washington or something <laughs> like that right now. Sounds like a key and penalty. Um, my man's throwing the practice squad players right now. Like, it's, it's, it's basically them. It's basically Saquon and Daniel Jones not messing up. Right. And, and they're they defending. Squad. So... I mean, if they're playing football the way they're playing it and still winning it, they're they going to get some guys back. My guy, Kadarius Tony. If he no, ever, that's what I'm going to say, dog. That's, that's, my that's my guy, Florida, man. If he can ever get out the doghouse, man, that's another weapon for them. Um, I don't know who cereal he pissed in, but my man can't get on the field. <laughs> he, he pissed everybody off. So, But as soon as they get him back, yeah, man, that team's looking um looking like trouble for you, for your Cowboys, man. I don't know. Philly going to run over everybody for now, so. Hey, you know, obviously, you know, Philly is the focus for us. Mm-hmm. And Philly, along with Buffalo, are the only two teams that are in the top five in offense and defense. Yeah, yeah. And look at those records. <laughs> Not a coincidence. They are number three at 394 yards a game um, on offense. And they are number four. My question, question two, man, about this team. I mean, smoking hot right now, but we talk about this with, with teams that, you know, are balling, you know, the record, win-loss, you know what I'm saying? It's nice. When they do, if they do lose, you know, it's all about the, the reset, you know, to me with this team too, you know? Right. Being that they put all this they put all this together for this year and they're looking good after a Paris last year in the wild card game. So I hope that Unlike their second halves, you know, when they do pick up a loss or seem to struggle, that it doesn't go all the way south for them. And it's just for every other team, too. You can say that to the to the Bills point or any team in any division for that matter right now that has a, a lead or whatever the case is. Right. So let's check out some of these comments. Um, again, this post is from George. Um yeah, of course, bumping the first one in there. Dallas ain't nobody though. And George actually he replied back, "Just, just, just, just." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Bumpy seemed like he didn't. He didn't want to hide out the other day. He wanted to um, demise my Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? It felt like everybody that was wanted to hide last week didn't want to. They want to hide because the Cowboys are playing something like football, and everybody in the world was on the Eagles side. What is what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. And Anthony, I, I definitely agree with you. I think the Bills are the number one team still because they've knocked off Kansas City in Kansas City. Uh, they beat up on – um. no, it's a round, but it's still the Super Bowl champ. They don't believe the league. Honestly, they also have the MVP of the league, which is probably why Yeah, they got him above. That, that dude is playing out of his mind right now. He's jumping over people, literally. And, and if they get CMC, that's gonna be scary. He comes down to the QB. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's ugly. Comes I would say what I was saying though is even with him, even with CMC, they gotta. That's gonna take a philosophy change because you gotta then want to run the ball. Like, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, like, don't get me wrong. I think they could do it, but they gotta show me that they'll even give him the rock outside of a pass. But even if you just pass it to him, he, he's a, he's gonna be a dangerous weapon. That's true. That's true. Uh, Patrick says, still early in the season. Don't forget the 11-0 still. That's true. They 11-0 and then they crumble. 
Yeah, but they had, they had a dinosaur at quarterback, so yeah, true, true. And he couldn't um, play, he couldn't play when it got cold with that with that elbow. Uh Jory says they are above 500, though. We ain't losing the teams under 500. Y'all ESPN fans are funny. As a as that was bumpy said that. Uh y'all see the Jets and think that's them two and fourteen Jets. <laughs> People, it's fun. No, people. Yo, nah. George was smoking him, though. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, first, yeah. I pass. Two first round for CMC. Pass. <laughs> nah. No, thank you. Somebody, Wait, it's it's going to take one, though. It's going to take, take one. Yeah, it's going to take one. I see maybe a first and a third for him. Yeah, I could do that. Um, Two was in here. He says, uh, Robert, you sure thought that before that game yesterday. You said you wasn't watching because it was a Jets. Or we got to pull out some some posts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> receipts. Get them receipts ready. You saying, dog. Hey, say you wasn't going to watch because it was a Jets. Hey, I felt the same way. I mean, I watched a bit of the game, though. But when I seen that the Jets were bumping them up, I said, ooh. No, hey, well, yeah. Hey. hey. Just put it on them, man. Hey, that they look good, man. But um, I called it too. I said the Jets were gonna win. You know, hey, oh. I, I am one that pull. I'm gonna be like pull my britches up, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you so. So yeah, <laughs> I had to come in on that time. My man, man popped up to say I told you so. Huh? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. <laughs> he says, pay attention to the names and not the teams. These young teams have been building towards this for years. And it's all coming together, and now people acting surprised. Hold on, hold on. But when does this praise? When does this mean for anybody? When does this praise come out? When your team loses to them? Only right. <laughs> Damn. 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 Big flex. Because a lot of people say that. Oh well, this team is development. Well, I mean, that's just why I told people I give praise sometimes to the bad teams. You know what I'm saying? Because this time that my team's bad, <laughs> so. Yeah. I, I gotta get praised. A lot of things your team's bad, especially in oh. December. Sorry, I mean. For anybody, anybody, for anybody. But yeah, hey, shout out to Anthony. He says Sauce is becoming the defense rookie of the year. I, I, I hey. specifically said his name that morning. Yep, I enjoy watching him play Sunday. He He's locking up down corner. Yeah, seatbelt. They do locking up. <laughs> He's worth what they got. Um, He's worth what they make him and sh- you know what they give him. Sorry, the money that he's making. And shout out to his deal, man. You know, he got with uh Buffalo Wild Wings, the sauce. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, good money though, man. Got him an NIL deal, huh? Yeah, <laughs> you see where I was going at with that. You see how, how that restaurant right, <laughs> go around the room and watch it come back. We actually got a question from us from, from Nate. What are your thoughts on the Jags moving forward? Could they put it together and do some damage? They need to go get Urban Meyer back. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it. Real talk, uh, that's the last thing they need, Urban Meyer. We still, oh, we still need to develop a team, man. Like, it's, it's, it's just, we can't say, oh, well, Jacksonville, Trevor Lawrence, and they're just going to jump to be one of the best teams in football and prove, like, fast. No, it's not like that. I, and I, probably for Trevor Lawrence, he has to live with this reality, you know? He has a team that he has to really, you know, face up first. Not a symbol, but he has to be I, – I see his his leadership mechanics not in the best. And, and a lot of QBs don't have a good leadership mechanics, but somebody that he, – he talked about a lot. And I would think that he would be a good leader if people talk about him. And people – you see him. People well, when talking, talking to him, it don't even sound upbeat. You know what I'm saying? So – That's kind of the thing with him, though. He, he was such a prodigy coming up that um I think – he wasn't forced to be a leader. He was on some great teams. Um, he came from Dabo system and 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 Dabo Dabo run everything that he's around. Like that, that's his that's his squad. I mean, so I think it um I think he's if I think if his expectation wasn't so high, we wouldn't be so hard on him right now. Right. But his expectation, he was called the greatest prospect almost ever. Basically, mm-hmm. they said they said it was like luck, Manning, and then him. Like, oh, luck, him, and then Manning. Like, so when 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 you come out with that much anticipation, mm-hmm. expectation and stuff, I think he's getting there though. Like, if you look from last year to here to this year, he's a lot better this year, a lot better. No, but no. um, yeah, he it's, it's gonna take him time to 
I think the game has to catch up before he get. He can't be the leader yet. It's hard for him to be the leader because he's not doing what's originally expected of him. Right. Right. Exactly. So w- once he starts to play the way we know and everyone knows he can play, then he'll be able to be a leader. Also, they got to use him better. They got to get him out bootlegs, running more to his right, throwing on the run. Everyone just says they see him in his size and, dare I say, pigment, and they want to leave him in the pocket just to throw all day. He can do that, but he, his strength a lot of times was moving. He, he's a great athlete, actually. A lot like Daniel Jones, but with a better arm and, and more accuracy. They need to they need to get and they and they move Daniel Jones too. So they, they need to move him out of the pocket, get him scrambling, get get him on some some bootlegs and stuff like that, and 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 really maximize what, what he can do. And um, like I said, w- once the once the numbers start piling up and the wins pile up, then he'll he'll be able to start leading. And it, it's hard to lead from behind. Man, y'all taking a shot, and that and that's one thing why I said about the quarterbacks, you get the biggest bags. Because see, we taking shots at the quarterback. We yeah. immediately going. He acts. He acts about the Jags, and we immediately going after Trevor Lawrence. I'm a Trevor Lawrence fan. I have high expectations yeah. about the guy, and he got mm-hmm. great hair, man. How can you go against a guy who got great hair? You know me. The I'm flow, a, right. <laughs> having, you know what I'm saying hair issues, but I just want to put this out there. So you know the let the, they lost this past weekend um, to the Colts, mm-hmm. seven points, 34, 27. They Division. beat the Jaguars. I mean, the Jaguars beat the Chargers 38 to 10. They lost yeah. to the Texans that's 13 to 7. That's a bad loss. That one right there. That that's probably the worst loss. Like they also, they, they they, they also lost to the Eagles by eight points. That's so, fine. And, and they was bad, up on the Eagles too. And that's a good you. loss. That's a so good loss at the first one. Yeah. What uh, my point is is that these guys aren't getting blown out. They are at number 11 in offense and number 11 in defense. Exactly. I was just about to say, they just got to get it together. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, Trevor Lawrence, he's a dual threat. You know, they mm-hmm. do they have a decent quarterback that can win games? Yeah, he can do that. Do they have good running back? They got two of them. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They got, do they have yeah. some receivers that can create separation? They got a couple of them. So, I mean, yeah, I think they can actually do it, and um, they just got to put it together. So we're seeing them, you know, once they get it in gear, you know, get it in fourth gear, we'll see. I think they'll do well because right now they're in third place. I don't know what. What's their schedule looking like moving forward? The next game they have uh, the Giants. That's going to be a good game. That's an opportunity for a big win for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think 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 next week we we can see. I think match. I think QB to QB, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's even. Very, um, very, very yeah. similar guys. They're very similar guys. Right. And, and Saquon's a little banged up. So, I mean, maybe a favorable game for the Jags, you know, to win. But this is the thing, though. I can't go on the high and say, oh, God, these guys won. They're developing. Let them you know, develop. They're developing. Let them That's develop. Why, why do you think they're developing, man? What the owner's not um, saying that they're, they're developing. developing. That's why they went on the I would expect Jacksonville to be. I, I would I would agree to develop him because he's the quarterback's still young, and the rest of that team is pieced together with yeah. uh, free agent guys, and that's yeah. never we we've seen that be horrible. Remember the old Eagles team that the, the super team, yeah, that, yeah. that flopped. So with, like with Vince Young, Mike, yeah, Pitt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the whole squad. But when was the uh, when? I mean, you know, we got to remember. Okay, so let's think. The Jags was an expansion team. When yeah. have they ever been? All of this continuity is homegrown talent like this. They had, you know, what they had when they were Fred Taylor. They had Fred Taylor. Um, they had Brunel, They had, that, they had that, MJD. Now, who are these guys? Who did they draft? They didn't draft Fred Taylor. Did they draft Fred Taylor? I think. Well, he came. They drafted Fred Taylor. They yeah, drafted Fred Taylor. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fred Taylor. And see, I mean, right, but their thing is to draft running backs. Then they drafted MJD, I think, too. Yep, but, yeah, yeah. They got yeah, they got, I mean, so, and that's their identity to get, you know, to get running backs. And that's what I'm saying. They got good running back. But yeah, you know, shout out. I think that the Jags, they're, you know, they're gonna get it together by next week. I think now, like everyone says, next week uh against the Giants. If they win, we'll see. You know, I think they got it together. But if not, I think they'll go back to being the Jags. <laughs> and real quick, I see your question. Uh I'm st- I'm thinking that Anthony must be a he must be a Jets fan because he asked about you know as far as Sauce being the defensive rookie mm-hmm. of the year, offensive rookie of the year, man. I've got to go with Brees Hall. Brees Hall, Brees, easy. Brees doing it's work. Clean sweep. He putting in work. <laughs> easy. So yeah, Brees so uh, they drafted well this year. 
They drafted yeah, very well yeah. this year. <laughs> and hey, Robert Sala got the boys ball. Oh, Tom, they did something right for all the years. They top five draft picks and yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've been waiting for stuff like that. I've been thinking to myself sometimes like teams, how many years in a row are you a top five, you know, top five in the NFL draft? And I'm thinking to myself, like, one of these days. You're going to end up with a good team <laughs> because there's no way in like five consecutive drafts you bomb. You bomb, like not only bomb a pick, but not not being good either, not improving. Like, so shout out to, you know, teams that are improving, you know, through being shitty for years and, and getting draft picks. And finally <laughs> Hey, never gotta give a right. shout out to my guy, Kai Robinson, man. He used to be a running back for the Jets too before he uh, retired. So, uh, you know, just a little quick knowledge. <laughs> To, to talk about the Brown syndrome where you pick Kyrie <laughs> and don't go nowhere. That <laughs> <laughs> kind of works out like that. <laughs> that is true. Okay, man. So uh, we're going to take our first break for tonight, y'all. That was good for a topic. A little bit of Eagles, but no, we are interactive show. Y'all too much me? Eagles, you ask me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was way too much. And it came, no, because it came at y'all expense. But, hey, <laughs> I like that part. <laughs> yes, sir. So we're going to take our first break. We'll be back with segment number deuce. Be back in about 15, 20. What's up, world? Kyrie Robinson, man. New Orleans Saints veteran. Hey, man, make sure you guys go check out my guy, man, STWF, the media, man. Check them guys out. Y'all want to get sports talk. Sports talks with players, with fans, anything like that, man. Go check them guys out, man. That's the place to be if you want to talk sports. Who that nation? Welcome back to segment number two of the sports chatter show. <laughs> out with the fam today. Yes, sir. Whoa. So, man, um, topic number two tonight. It's a little bit of theme, no. no I, you know, I paid bet to our expense, but never got a little bit of get back coming up. <laughs> hey, I like to get back. <laughs> and this one, we're going to call this one Cheese Head Confiscation. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great feeling, man. It's the cheese sauce. It's the cheese sauce. It's the cheese sauce, man. That young man hey, got a bright future. That'd be greatness if uh, Buffalo Wild Wings come out with that actually so, uh, actual mm-hmm. sauce like that. Like, that yeah, would be funny. Some some real fire cheese sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've, been on there. I've, had, I've been a victim to have cheese sauce, man, on, on some, some bonus with bomb, man. I'm telling you. You just sound hungry. Nah, nah, shout out to um, not open anymore, but um, shout out to Bowheads, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Former place I used to work at, man. Home of the home of the wings, all different type of flavor wings, man. So I've had just about every flavor of wings. Now you're making me hungry. Yeah, right, man. Oh. Like, damn, <laughs> all I got is water. <laughs> so the the Jets. Uh, right now, you know, for some that might be exceeding expectations, for others that might be where they need to be, and then for you know, depending on your ass, they can be below expectations. But what's been your perception of the Jets thus far? I know Salah keeping them receipts. He said so. He did. He, he did, did say it, and now he's cashing them in too. Um, the, they, they just they, they're young and hungry, man. I, I don't know how long they can maintain it for this season. I don't see them being a factor in the long term. I do know. Um, they're in what's obviously turning out to be maybe the toughest division in the league right now, considering the Patriots are starting to wake up. Um, two are going to come back eventually, and, and the Bills, they circle in the wagon still. So um, it's it's interesting. This team, they got some veteran pieces, but they young. They're a young they team. They're some, they're, their biggest playmakers are all young. Um Again, it, again, I mean, I hate to do it, but it, this is going to come down to how the quarterback play maintains, how that young quarterback play continues. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I think, I think they can get a couple more wins, but again, I think their division is is, is real tough. Um, so I, I don't think that they'll do too much 
in terms of like playoffs and nothing like that. I don't see playoffs in their future. Um, but yeah, they, they, it's a good team to watch. They fun to watch too because they they got they got the energy. They got they got the swagger. They got that sauce. Okay, we back to back full circle. circle. <laughs> He, um, this dude hasn't lost. <laughs> he has uh, the Zach Wilson has not lost since he's been back. Yeah, and, and, yeah. He's, and, he's, and he's banging and he's banging more moms, man. So that's you're the success, man. You're banging moms. You in New York? You know what I'm saying? More's gonna come to you, man. Just make sure you're safe down there. Um, <laughs> it's it's the, mom the, the, Jets, the Jets, man, they fly in the old school tuna. You know what I'm saying? Style jerseys. They 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 got to get respect, man. New York sports, man. You know, new, when when New York sports is good, you know, it's kind of good for the world in some terms. You know what I'm saying? Like California teams, you know, they're gonna have their good teams. You know what I'm saying? We've seen the Rams win a Super Bowl. You know, East Coast teams have been riding patient for a long time. But New York, it's kind of like when New York's good at something, gotta appreciate it. Yeah, let's just the Yankees. Hey, 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 I'm a Yankees fan, man. Shout to the that went Sorry early. for you. Shout to the Yankees on that win earlier, man. Who's your daddy, Guardians? You know what I'm saying? Yankees, you know. But um, yeah. needed the rain uh, to help y'all. They are young. Sala is like, man, you know what pedigree I just came from? You know who coaching tree I came from? He like, got a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. I'm going to say this. This year was, you know, the coming out year. Last year, you know, Check the tapes. I was saying, hey, y'all need to watch the Jets. Even Chris started trolling me, like, uh -huh, Uncle Lee, Uncle, wait, Uncle Lee, what did he say? Uncle Leroy Jet Jr., something like that. <laughs> ha! You know what I'm saying? So, you know, and that was the thing because once you put winners, what do you think winners gonna do? What do you think, Zach? What you just said, Zach Wilson come back, he hasn't lost yet. He was doing that last year. They inserted winners, Trevor Lawrence. These guys are winners, bro. We just, they just need a matter of time to work their jelly. And that's what we seen. They like the Jaguars. Hmm? That, 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 my, whole, my whole thing is: Did the Jaguars make a mistake in not picking Zach Wilson? <laughs> because yeah. you know, they hey. made a mistake in not getting them a sauce garner. That's it. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. I mean, because, and they made a mistake of going with Urban Meyer. That part, right. That's the, that's the mistake. Yeah. Yes, but you know, the thing is, is we got to look what happened here. What do we? What you just showed a tape of this guy. Saucing, you know what I'm saying? He feeling himself. He, that was confidence. So right now, the Jets beating the Packers. Those guys are confident. Those young guys are confident. You know, in Lambo. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You know, hey, one thing you don't want to do. You know, you might piss an old guy off, piss a young, but don't give him a stick to hit you with because they're gonna repeatedly hit you with this thing. These guys not running out of energy, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's like, are you not amused? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you not entertained? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just get it. Come on, man. He knows what he's doing, you know, and just like, you know, and the players are a byproduct of the coach, the system, everyone. All these guys got that same flair. You know what I'm saying? The coach, all these players. So at the end of the day, you know, they gone. They're here. You know, they beat the Steelers. You know, um, they blew out the Jets. You know what I'm saying? The only team that beat them were the Bengals. The Bengals and the Ravens at the beginning of the season. And the Ravens, right. Exactly. So. You know, but they've been they've been kicking ass. They've actually they've outscored was it uh 65 82 to 37. Yeah, I'm about to say the last game like they lost in the beginning. Yeah. 82 to 47 <laughs> on the last three games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taking teams mm -hmm. to the house. Vegas showing oh. teams love this year, man. Maybe this is what it is. Maybe Vegas is showing teams love. Maybe Vegas is like, we're just gonna give you a couple more wins this year. We're going to give you a couple more wins this year. We're going to get our money back from the COVID, you know what I'm saying, and all that. Inflation. Maybe. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, right now, the Jets are good right now. They're pretty, pretty decent right now. They're really good, man. Conspiracy, good too. Defense, they good on both sides of all. <laughs> Cons <laughs> conspiracy. <laughs> Conspiracy to make an appearance. Hey, <laughs> just start to fall down, then we'll go back to this conspiracy, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you so, one of them Guy Fox masks. I need one of them for Halloween, man. Speaking of that, I got to go find something for Halloween tonight. So, the, so check out a couple of these comments. Uncle First one to post said, mad disrespectful. We all agree that it's funny. It's entertaining, though. That's what I'm saying. I love it. That's what I'm saying. Like, I do something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Hey, she, hey, don't let me come to your house and beat up on you and uh, mad. No, yeah, I'm going to cut out. You're going to have to put me out. I'll do the same thing. 
Nathaniel says, I love it. That's a confident young man. Definitely. Uh, Uncle agree with him. Same here. I love it. Then here come Bumpy. I love the singles. <laughs> <laughs> messy, messy, messy. <laughs> yes, yes. I was just drafting a post about the Packers and Cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> But man, it's been fun uh, watching those young men play. Man, they handling their business. Right now, it's it's only up for them right now because they're taking on their coach's personality. I love the hire when it first came across because to me, San Francisco ain't been the same defense since he left. He went over there and he's implementing that defense was flying around on Sunday, like they did, you know, on the him in San Francisco. And now to get Zach, he's back, he's healthy, he's getting those getting dubs. They're gonna have a little bit of they can have a little bit of something to say in the play. I don't expect them to go to the Super Bowl or nothing, but they're not gonna be an easy out. I got another conspiracy. Got Here another we go. One. I got another quick one. But Will, you might like this though. And you might agree with me on this one. The, we will find out what the Jets really are after October 30th. Guess who they host? On the 30th. Ooh, Bill Belichick and the Patriots. That's who we'll find out. We'll find out if the Jets are for real or not because they can they they seem they cannot be Belichick in them. So it should, it should be interesting. Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> A little bit of Bar Scott up in there. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> My favorite gift, man. No bull. Yeah, for right, real. So get to that quick stat about the Patriots and the Jets. So the Patriots have a 35 to 43 and one record against the <clears throat> Jets in a regular season. Wait, say it again. 35 oh, and 43 in a draw, I guess. 35 and 43. 43. Yeah. How about the last 20 years? Man, I'm not, I'm not no statistician like that. That's why I've been last 20 years. We ain't trying to talk about when the, when the Patriots were um, the Boston Patriots. We ain't talking about them times. <laughs> <laughs> they were smoking a cigar, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't have yeah. that. Nah, man. Um, but yeah, that dates way back into the 1960s. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Joe Namath and them beating up on Pat the Patriot. <laughs> <laughs> Most definitely. So you said the last, you know what? I went and pulled it up. Look at him. So you said the last 20 years? Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brady time is what he meant. The last 20 years, they've only beaten them eight times. <laughs> exactly. The yeah. last 20 years. Yeah. Them getting their mud stomp. So <laughs> yeah, I was just trying to say, bro. We were like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't think that's gonna be the tale of the tale. They yeah. <laughs> well, man, yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how they're doing. We're gonna take our last break for the day. Yes, sir. We're gonna be back in about 15, 20. Hold on to your butts. You're back. Guys, it's your boy Gritty checking in. It's Friday. I'm live with STWF Media, man. Little interview coming soon. Everybody, y'all tune in. Man. We got some bad coming. Let's get it. Yes, sir. No reggaeton horn. There we go. I mean, sometimes I be doing. You be talking like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Hey. You right, you right, but I love it every time we come back in. He's coughing on the sixes right now, man. 9079 Boston, man, right now. The, the Celtics out here, you know what I'm saying? Tell them Philadelphia to put some respect on their name. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to show the jump off. He gonna break it. He yes, gonna break sir. it. I'm about to say, hey, you know what I'm saying? It's uh it's football it's basketball season. You know what I'm talking about? So yes, sir. Myself the Saturday night, 730 for number basketball show. Woo! <laughs> got my own sound boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> we wanna know you hit this jumper, uh huh? So we go to the next segment. You gonna make oh, it? Oh, okay, hold on. Wait, let me see. Hold on, man. Hold on, let me see. I want to knock the camera down. So wait, let me see. So Pressure. If, the, if the other camera gets knocked down, that means uh, I missed, you missed it. It means you break it. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> Building the house. <laughs> He's got the cobwebs up there. <laughs> I 
That's the house. That's the house that Unc built out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, we always having fun, man. That's how we do it. STW yes, Studio. Y'all tap in, man. Here in order to Texas. So speak of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna call it a cardinal comeback. <laughs> oh no. Hey, for for some of those people who kind of uh sat on them for the first six weeks, you got Nuke coming back. They just <sighs> traded for uh Robbie Anderson. That's a replacement, though. Hey, but then you know, young man, um, Hollywood, Hollywood, he's getting a second opinion. I, I know originally they said it was season in, uh, ending, but yeah. he's going out for a second opinion. Uh, this is two's post. Shout out to two. Um, yeah. this is, and the post is, uh, um, Hollywood suffered a potential season ending foot injury on Sunday, per sources. Is undergoing further testing today to determine the extent of the injury. So my question is, you know, it's unfortunate that you know he's injured right now, but they do have Hopkins coming back. They did trade for um Robbie. Is is it time? And then I think we talked about it yesterday where um um uh, Kingsbury said he's looking to give over the offensive reins to somebody else. Mm-hmm. So do you think it's something to that that can turn a season around, or you think it pretty much is what it is at this point? No. <laughs> okay, for which one? <laughs> I, <both> oh, yeah, <laughs> well, nah, well, <laughs> I got a question. Is he reading yet? <laughs> Thank you. I was just about to say exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The problem ain't them catching the ball. The problem is it getting to him. Yeah. That's man. the problem. The yeah. guy who has the ball majority most of the time. That yeah, a kid works magic at times, but he can't keep pulling rabbits out of the hat. He just keep pulling L's sometimes too. So um, I don't really know, man. I, th- I think, nah, they, they got a ways to go. I, I don't think, um, from what I'm looking at from that overall team, DeAndre ain't going to fix the problem. A brand new receiver who just went face to face with his, with his receiver coach ain't going to fix the problem. Let's not be, let's not be foolish neither. Like Robbie's never been, Robbie's fast. Robbie a twig. We ain't never seen that dude take over a game. We ain't never seen like only time you ever see Robbie Anderson is when he's 60 yards downfield wide open because somebody blew coverage. That's the only time. Big right. facts. That's the only time. So he he not really fixing nothing. And like I said, he's a replacement of probably a better receiver anyway. So um nah that 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 team, that team's they're a bucket right now. I want to add interject on that. Like I agree because you got who, – who's coming off a of suspension? D-Hop, right? Mm-hmm. Who's also a hothead, who's in the news already. I mean, you know, intermediate, not for good reasons, for trolling a coach. So you got a guy who's trolling uh, – or no, not even a coach, an executive, and a guy who's coming who just got finished telling off his freaking coach. So you got two disres- highly disrespectful guys coming on the same team. Dad, an inexperienced head coach that's probably going to get challenged. Exactly. You can see because he's bringing in, you know what I'm saying, t- to me, tainted talent. Like, you can't do anything with these guys. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell them anything because, you know, D-Hop think he's the greatest thing since cheese. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's horrible because you got two guys you can't tell what to do, and you got a guy who's not even paying enough attention to understand what to do. You know what I'm saying? And Kyler Murray. So, Kyler Murray, they just played the Seahawks. Did he throw a touchdown? No. He threw an interception. That, that team's terrible. They can't defend anything. <laughs> right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> they played the Eagles. He threw one touchdown, um, one interception. QB rating of 80. Completion rate of 66. Um, he has not had a good game. He had... Um, a game, September 25th against the Rams. He threw 314 yards. How many touchdowns? None. Yeah. Zero. Exactly. Man, the guy is trash, man. And, yeah. They're, yeah. The other the other problem I would say with that whole situation, too, is um, would you just say, Coach, that uh, Kingsbury is talking about passing off the reins of the offense? Yes, sir. You mean his offense? That His built, offense. Yo. The one that he built in college? The one that's yeah. His masterpiece, he's yeah, gonna stop the reason why Kyle is there. <laughs> so <laughs> that sounds like a recipe for disaster, man. Like crash and burn. <laughs> they gonna make Kyle 
Either Kyle going to try to read or Kyle ain't going to try to read and this season's over. How you going to let someone else drive your Cadillac? <laughs> That's hey, true. Indeed. Well, it needs to that you know that the engine, the engine's going bad. That's right. Like, hey, got busted airbags in it. <laughs> <laughs> that ass on the ground. <laughs> you said it's, you know it's what doing right now. It's no, you know what doing right now. Old school. She's doing some old school. This is what he's doing. He Here wants to buy a new whip. He don't have enough money for it, though. He got paid this then there. It's he an insurance job. He tried to do a job himself. <laughs> tried to do a it's job himself. It's an insurance job. For insurance. Exactly. <laughs> he tried to go back to college. Cliff tried to go back to college right now. You see all these different colleges building up with Tony's, you know what I'm saying? He can bring his scheme there. Y'all can have the scheme. I'll bring it back over there. I'll let you use it. My man strapping the helmet on and hitting the tree. <laughs> <laughs> so... Looking at them, so I think part of the issues, you know, we've talked about it many times is Kyler Murray and his ability to to study, to analyze, to get in, you know, to get in the fan room and whatnot. Um, and also a lack of a running game this year. Kyler is the leading rusher on the team. <laughs> he ain't giving the ball up as well. At two hundred right. yards. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. I mean, it, cause it's not that, you know, the inability of the guys to run. They just had James Conner. I mean, you know, he's proven a number one running back in the NFL, you know, so and he's a thousand yard runner. So, I mean, he can do it. And, you know, Benjamin, he's a good runner. Kyler Murray just not passing the ball. It's that system, man, that air range system. They want to just throw it downfield. I heard another good take about that team, too, that they was um basically they say that if you got as a coach, if you got a crazy scheme, that's great. But if when the league finally learns it, if you ain't got the next move adjustment, then it's just a gimmick. Fact. And that's what it, that's what it looks like. It looks like this is the air raid's a gimmick because he don't have the next step of it. He don't have now that you stopped it. Here's what I do. I don't have the he don't have the adjustment to it. He don't he don't he, he's it's, it's, it's a gimmick. It. Think about it. The, the guys like Zach Ertz and D Hop. You know, reasons why they went to Arizona was for a guy like Kyle Murray. You know what I'm saying? What they, you know, looked at the, the book and the scene. And Zach Ertz, I haven't heard his name. <laughs> I haven't heard his name in a long while. Well, he's you know? doing a great job. He's doing a great job blocking. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. So yeah. he's doing, though. He's got 35 catches on 51 targets for 291. I love Philadelphia for getting rid of him and then Zarin Garden. Because I already knew Garden. You know what I'm saying? That was his job. That was his job once he got there in Philly. And that's no respect to Earth, but it sucks, man. It's 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 whack that this team, the team in Arizona, who for about a decade, you know, to try to extinguish their name as a, a great team, you know, consecutively, consistently, and you just let a couple boneheads in the system, a couple, you know. I don't even know what to call, and it's not his fault. It's not Kingsbury's fault. It's just the market. It's just the way the media works. You know, he's the hardest guy on the scene. He gets hired to an NFL team. It's happening nowadays. You know, right. but like the uh, Matt Rule situation, this is what it's coming down to. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not working. Next thing's not working. And then you got to keep um, – unlike Carolina, Kyler Murray is not a bad QB. You know, so you don't deal with that effect. But can you mechanically restructure Kyle when Kyle has been doing this basically his whole life? You know, the thing. I don't think he's coachable. Well, but what's what's the what's there to restructure? It's his quarterback from college. It's the same guy in the same system. That's my problem. That's why I do blame Kingsbury because yeah, it's, it's his system. Oh. I'm talking about his after system, this. Guy. I'm about after this, like afterward, like if Cliff ends up not being there. The next coach and now they came back. They gave him the Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get moved. Peyton Kyle can fix him. Gone. Peyton can fix him. Who can fix him? I think Peyton can fix him. Peyton Manning? No. no so who who Peyton? Who? Coach, coach Peyton. Sean Peyton? Sean Peyton? Yeah. Get Peyton, out of here. He can, he I, don't can think, get I don't think he's gonna study good enough. 
Right. That, I, no one, I think, no I think one he'll make wants to deal with a guy who comes out, you know what I'm saying, and says that he doesn't study. The organization acknowledged that this guy does not study. Yeah, no they said does. that. Then they backtrack, and then he said he does. That's all because he this said, is a soft and sensitive world. Not because they felt that, you know, they, they weren't true. You know what I'm saying? They put it in a contract. They, just, <laughs> they didn't fit to get leaked up. That's <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? To the soft-ass world. The dude, the dude, um, the, the last, the last chance you coach be roasting Kyler Murray. Though. He does. He, coach Brown, he be, man. He be killing a lot of these QBs, man. Saying a lot of these QBs, you know, are trash. A lot of these new ever QBs are, are terrible. You know, but everything he speaks about Kyler, though, would be pouring yeah. on his Point lack on. of his inability to out of out of certain situations. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's telling them he's like, this is what he should be doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Just, that goes back. Is he coachable? Or is, or is it that he's comfortable? You know, and same that, coach since since college. I mean, he's just cruising. He's just, yeah, he's because at the end of the day, what is there? What is there to study? He knows the system. Yeah, you're right. Clip, it's Cliff's fault. It's Cliff's fault because there's no way. Like the only way a kid's on video games like that, and we have, I have kids. You know what I'm saying? Coach, kids, oh kids. We don't want them to be on video games like that. So when you have your kids on video games like that, that's a that's that, that's a reflection of yourself. <laughs> that's, and, a, and, that's a great analogy. You know what I'm saying? It's a reflection <laughs> of yourself. So now, yeah, you gotta blame. You know, you can't really blame Kyla. You know, say for being a little kid, little you know, spoiled brat, and his and his father, Cliff Kingberry, giving him everything he wants. And then you hold on. You're supposed to depart from daddy. You're supposed to depart from daddy. You know, at a certain age, eighteen, we'll say. He's- and he's, he's still in it. Daddy. He's good. He and daddy, daddy. He in daddy's basement. He, he, he in the basement playing yeah, Halo. Yeah. I need more team, dude. Buy the meatloaf. Buy the meatloaf. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, man. Stuff, he, man. He um. Yeah, he he. It's funny because he he actually is talented. But I saw Keyshawn Johnson talking about how he was at a, he was at an event with him and um. He was like, it was a video game event. They were playing games together. He was like, he looked over. He was like, he wasn't talking trash or nothing. He was focused. He was like, that's all that kid do. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't do that when you're a multi-millionaire and, and yeah. the organization's uh, fortunes are riding on your back. You got to yeah. do your part, man. They Him paid ben, you up front. You got to do your part. Yeah, exactly. Him and Ben Simmons, man, they love them video games. And um, be- and, and eight. <laughs> eight two, yeah. <laughs> two, yeah. But to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, eight, the only reason why eight ain't playing video games is ain't nobody passing them the damn ball. <laughs> That's true. Looking to fill game with two man. Devin Booker. Oh yeah, but yeah, Booker be playing with Simmons. <laughs> Jake just tapped in. He asked, "Are we talking Skip <laughs> Watt or <laughs> tonight <laughs> or <laughs> <two, laughs> Bay?" <two, five laughs> <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh Ripley's believe believe it or not to. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. First off, Skip is a, a, a fake. I'm authentic. You know what I'm saying? Most two ball walk whenever you mention my name. You know what I'm saying? Don't think Skip and Dale is next to my name at all. First off. Second off, say undisputed. This was fast show. We yes, talk. It is. But shout out to Chatter. Jake, man. Shout out to my man Jake, man. Jake turns in with us, man. I- Every Sunday, you know, for all our inside, you know, Jake's a, um, a member of the group, man. Jake, great mind, great personality, man. But I'm going to tell you one thing, Jake. The Patriots, trash. Trash. I caught a stray. up and then shot, shot yeah. him down. And He's, I like, a, yeah. He's a great guy. But he's and, I, and I caught a and I caught a stray. I'm a Pats fan. I caught a stray for nothing. That's crazy. Hey, bro. Hey, hey look. Man. Hey. Shit. We, had deal, we had to deal with the uh, fly eagles fly, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what ha- what homies do, bro. You know what I'm, I'm saying? Yo, I'm filled with hoes right now, man. I got hit up today. <laughs> <laughs> and it's in you're, doing, hey, yo, you're doing coach a favor. Your Celtics are doing coach a favor. You know by beating Philadelphia's behind right now. So Celtics about to have the anthem song at the end of the night. <laughs> we're trying to get that dub. We up by eight. We up by eight. Oh, we up by seven now. 
Oh, this time it's gonna something to blow the game. You know what they do at this time. They start blowing the game, you know. Maxie's nice. I kid Maxie's special. All right, fellas. Who got um shout outs for tonight? Man, shout out to everybody who checked in as usual. Always holding down the show. Interactive and we love it. Um, you know, as always, shout out to the brand, shout out to you fellas. Another great night. Double salute. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to all fans, you know, of the Eagles that enjoyed the anthem song tonight. Shout out to all Jets fans that, you know what I'm saying, got love for the Jets tonight. The difference of our show and any other show is, you know, they're commercial, you know. We're not commercial. So you're getting everything in the blender and mixed in, you know what I'm saying. No script here, you know what I'm saying. No pin, no pad, man. This is this is, this is is freestyle at its best then, man. You know what I'm saying? Mixed with all great minds. I love it. So shout out to you guys, man, for always being here on this platform. You know, when I come in and we all just do what it do, man. Four minds, man, from different places, you know. When Absolutely. We do it. It's great. That's why it works. Man, it's one positive going shit up in here, man. It's like, yeah, yeah. You know it's like, hold on, man. Positivity. Positivity. Out, man. It's like, you got to cut, you know, no, nah, cut that out, man. <laughs> I saw that it was like 4151, something like that. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, <sir>. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But uh, definitely give a shout out to everybody that support the brand. Y'all definitely check out tomorrow at nine. Slaughter Fit tapped in uh, SCWF Studios. Um, and tomorrow we got some more shows. We got some more shows. Got some more shows. And oh, on goodness. October 29th, we got our first come by to say ugly sweater Christmas party. I can't wait to get that one started back up. But um, oh, yeah, got mine on. Okay, I got one. That, nice, nice. But yeah, October 29th, we got a costume party for the best costume. You can win $300. And then on November 5th, we're having a poetry night. So it's going to be big up in here. We got two great poets. We got a cellist who's played for Prince Harry, Solange, and Madonna herself. So uh, it's definitely going to be a big night. So it's going to be a fancy night, one where you put your pinkies in the sky and hold uh, and drink out of STEM glasses. So, <clears throat> yeah. Mm-hmm. So y'all definitely tap in. Y'all follow us on all social media platforms, STWF Studios. And y'all come go check us out on Google. Uh, SCWF Studios. We're everywhere, man. We're taking over uh, Arlington. Start with them, but after that, we don't know. But then we appreciate everyone who tapped in with us, man. That's all I got. Hey, shout out to you fellas, man. Therapeutic as always. Uh, shout out <clears throat> to the cook that uh, cooked them fire ass enchiladas waiting downstairs for me. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting today, man. It's a lot of Tuesdays. I have myself some too, man. Oh. And and shout out to one of my favorite artists of all time, Sade. She's back in the studio. I mean, that's a fire ass album coming. Okay. And probably hold it with a concert tour. I will never miss when she comes through. But anyhow, man, appreciate y'all hanging out with your boys tonight, man. Make sure y'all tune in. Like Uncle said, we got shows all day tomorrow. Hang out with us. Find your flavor. You got to watch everything to find what your flavor is. Absolutely. And as soon as you find it, commit to it. We got you. Trust me, we got you. With that being said, man, we appreciate y'all hanging out with us. See y'all next time.